Hello, I'm Steve, also known as Tea Break Knitter on social media. In this tutorial, I want to show you how I pick up and knit stitches at the edge of a steek. I do this if I'm creating a button band, for example. I want to show you how I actually pick up the edges. And I would normally do this before I had cut the steek. So I've reinforced the steek, I then pick up the stitches, start knitting from there, so a few rows of knitting, and then cut the steek. Not when I've completed a complete sleeve or something, but when I've got enough rows in there that I'm not going to be pulling and stretching and stressing the cut edge of the steek. So I then cut the steek and can continue. The reason for not cutting the steek until I've started the, knitting the picked up stitches is the act of picking up is actually very stressful for the knitting. You're pulling the stitches and I don't want to pull that steek out. I'm probably being too, far too cautious. However, in this demonstration, to make it easier to see what I'm doing, I have already cut the steek so you can see where the picked up stitches are in relation to the centre of the steek and to the rest of the knitting. So I'll now show you how I do that. I've got here a swatch that's ready for picking up stitches. Normally, if this was a real project, I wouldn't have cut the steek. Here's the cut edge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have cut the steek until I had both picked up the stitches, and here's that edge stitch that I'm going to pick up stitches from, and knit a couple of rows of the picked up fabric, and only then would I have cut the steek. The reason I would have waited is because when you pick up a stitch you put extra stress on those stitches next to it and by waiting until after you've cut the stitch you're reducing the low risk of pulling out stitches through your reinforced edge. But it's going to be easier to show you off a swatch that's already been cut. So I'm going to show you three ways of picking up the stitch in exactly the same way. When I say pick up stitch, I'm going to pick up and knit the stitch. So this is the edge stitch row that I want to pick up. So I've knit from bottom to top. I have here the steek. So the edge stitch, and here are the steek stitches. And I want to pick up and so that my knitting comes out from this position, so that the edge of the garment or fabric is there, and the new edge grows out from that point onwards. So the first approach I want to use, and that will let you see more clearly what's happening, is I'm going to use two needles. Here I'm using a needle that's smaller than was used to knit the fabric. This is going to help me lift the stitches. And here is a needle I'm going to knit onto. And again, in this particular case, it's slightly smaller than the one I used to knit knit the fabric. Uh, sometimes you might want to do this because it makes it easier to adjust your stitches on that on the first round you knit after the ones you pick up. So I'm going to knit. So I'm going to wrap my yarn as usual. I'm holding the yarn in the right hand because I'll be doing most manipulation of my right hand. So here is that first stitch, that first edge stitch, in the first stitch in, within the steek. And I'm going to push this needle right the way through that stitch. And I'm also going to catch the float underneath. That's to hold the stitch up so I can now Put my needle in, 
and knit the stitch. Do that again on the next one. Put the needle in and knit the stitch. Now, of course, this is stockinette. If you do the pickup ratio of two to three, I'm going to skip the stitch, and this time I'm going to pick it up differently. I'm going to use a crochet hook. Put the crochet hook through underneath that edge stitch. You then can then pull the yarn through. And put it on the stitch. Again, pull the arm through with your crochet, crochet hook and put it on the stitch. So you, you want to mount it on the stick, on the needle, so that the working yarn disappears off across the back. And the third way I want to show you is, you just, is just to use the right hand needle, push it under the stitch and pull the arm through. We'll do that again. Lift that stitch with the needle, push it through and knit it. Come up a bit closer to the camera this time. Missing out that third stitch because of the two to three ratio. Put that stitch, put the needle through, wrap, and pull it through. And now the final stitch, put it through, wrap and put it through. So what I've actually done is gone up there and I've created my stitches to knit on the needle by pulling the yarn through the back of this edge stitch. And you can see here, if I hold this very tight like that. You can see that here is the yarn, the working yarn, as it comes through, through. So it's holding the front and the back, or the left and the right of that stitch together. There's a bit more, more room to maneuver things if I move onto the cable. So here we have, the, on this side we've got the stitches, and on that side we've got the pearl bumps looping themselves round the yarn for the stick. So that is how I do the pickup for a stick. And let me show you why I do it like that. Here. I've got a, a, a swatch where I have picked up the steak on each end and looking at this you can't really see much difference. If I hold it flat again you can't see much difference. But if I put it down like this, all of a sudden you'll find, you can see that this edge with this 
light pickup is lying flatter than this steak with a dark picked up edge. And the difference between the two is that I picked up this end, you can see, knitting through both sides of the edge stitch. So if I fold that back, even this, you can see the pearl bumps lying underneath the edge stitch there. On this side, I picked it up as you would do with a selvage on a flat piece of knitting. You just tur you kept you knit across in stocking stitch, turned at the edge, and knit back in stocking stitch. And there you would pick up through the gaps between the first stitch and the edge. So, so if that if that were the edge, you'd pick up your stitch through there. And picking up like that, the fabric doesn't want to lay as flat. It's not being turned by your pickup. So when you're picking up a stitch, if you knit under the edge stitch, so that you, your new stitch is formed on this side, and your pearl bumps are that side underneath the loops of your edge stitch, your steak will naturally lie flat, whereas if you pick up between the stitches as you would normally for a stocking stitch edge, the steak doesn't lie as flat. It turns up, but it doesn't turn back on itself as flat. So this is going to form a smoother inside to your knitted fabric, and it's going to lie flat even if you don't catch those stitches to hold them to the fabric. So that's me picking up my stitches at the edge of a steak. So that's how I pick up and knit the edge stitches near the edge of a steak. And I've also shown you why I do it that way. I hope you found this useful. Until the next time, happy knitting.